Namaste. Hey guys, um, it's been a while since I put a video out, so I'm happy to be back with another um, video. This is just going to be a short video. Um, I have been a little under the weather for the last couple days, but definitely feeling a lot better today. So, um, I, I don't know, in my past videos I've talked about a place that I like to go to a lot in my little hometown that's called the Lotus Shack. It's a little metaphysical store. Um, I've done a couple of uh, videos showing some of the stuff that I've been able to get from there. Um, the owner of that shop's name is Patty Devine and um, she's just a great person, absolutely a great person. Um, the thing is, is the building that they had their store in was either condemned or they're redoing it or something, but any, anyway, re regardless, she had to move. And so she found a site and they've been working hard trying to get everything moved over there. And they were supposed to open around the 1st of November, but uh, something happened and they're having issues with an occupancy permit or something like that. So um, it's not open yet. And so I've been a little bummed out because that's kind of somewhere that I like to go and be around all kinds of crystals. And um, so usually I pick up, I pick one or two crystals up and bring them home, even if they're just little pieces. Um, I just... Um, I give away a lot of my crystals. I give them to people that I feel like need them. So sometimes I need to replace them. Um, I use them during my readings. I use them for healing sessions and other things. So anyway, so I decided to go on Google and ask Google if uh, there was another store in the area. And all I did was type in um, tarot cards near me. And this little store popped up. Actually, a couple of them did, but the, the only one that was open popped up, and it was called Hippie Witch Skin Care. So I thought, well, that doesn't sound like a, um, like, you know, much, but it's better than nothing, and maybe, uh, you know, I, I love skin care, anything to do with that, so maybe I'll find something cool there. Um, if nothing else, I've gotten out of the house. So we uh, went off on an adventure, remind you, we were still uh, very new to our area and I have not been to hardly any of the little shops that are downtown yet. Um, so um, I'm just discovering them one at a time, basically. So this one was called Hippie Witch Skincare. I don't know if you can see that or not, my light's pretty glaring. There we go. I got my light purple tonight. Okay. And um, the store was is tiny, tiny, tiny little store. Um, but she used the space in there very, very well. Um, the owner of the place, um, her name is Jess, um, Jessica Galbraith. Galbraith, but they, she was by Jess. Um, I didn't get to meet her. I met her employee who was wonderful and um, had really good solid answers for all my questions. And uh, she had some beautiful crystals in there. And I did get lost in there for a little while, um, picking up, looking at, uh, playing with her crystals and stuff. So anyways, I, I did pick up a few things from the store and I kind of wanted to show off um, some of the things, some of the crystals I got. Um, and uh, maybe give you, so you can figure out some of the meanings and usefulness of them. So, let's, uh, first of all, I, I, I did buy more than these crystals, so I'll pull out, okay, first of all, I bought, she does all her own handmade soaps, and they are vegan, and they're all natural. So, I bought one called Patchouli Vegan All Natural Soap. Oh, and, oh my gosh, it smells so, so, so good. She had all different one smells in there. Um, I can't remember how much this was. It was like 10 bucks. You know, those little stores are a little pricey, but handmade and it's beautiful it's three different colors i don't know if you can see um like 
an orange, a tan, and then like a light lime green color in there. Yellowish lime green. Anyways, it smells amazing. And I am all about the vegan in it and the all natural. And But mostly I'm about the handcrafted part of it. That's important to me. Okay, now here is something special. Um, I've been looking for this. So I've been looking for this because it's it's actually made by two of my m most favorite artists, fantasy artists, um, Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. Um, both of them are English um, artists. From the research I've done on them, apparently they went to art school together or worked, met together at a, a place where they worked, um, and together, um, at this place, they created a, a, a pottery line or something to that effect. It was for a pottery company and they created a line with their artwork, um, combined together. So anyways, it is some of the most beautiful fantasy art that, um, that you'll ever see and um josephine wall is just absolutely her artwork is amazing absolutely amazing and angela hartfield has made many many decks um oracle decks tarot decks um we'll see oracle decks i think but anyway so i have been looking for this this one this one um i heard about actually from another creator not too long ago i saw her using it and so i've been looking for it and the way i i do a deck i i don't just order a deck on the internet and wait for it to show up and then hope that i resonate with it i go into the store i touch it i hold it i i i feel the energy of it sometimes i i feel like you know zero connection to a, a deck. I'll pick one up and it'll be gorgeous and beautiful and fancy and gold foiled and all the, the bells and whistles and I'll think, oh, this is beautiful. But I don't feel nothing off of it. And and so then, you know, I'll go and reach for a deck that, you know, it's not my first pick, um, but I feel pulled to it. And so then I will... Um, that's the only way I will acquire a new deck. Um, I've had people give me decks before and I I get decks and I try to connect with them if they're uh, like a gift or something. And you know, if, if I can't really connect with them, I don't put them on my altar. I just put them in another place of the house. Um, a lot of times I give them away, re-gift them uh, if I don't connect with them, um, if somebody comes to my house and they pick up one of my decks and they just totally connect with it, I'll let them go home with it. Um, I'm kind of the same way with my crystals and stuff, even though I love them and I hate to part with them. Um, I feel like things, uh, um, things need to be where they need to be and, and not, it's not always with me. So I found me the Whispers of Healing Oracle deck. Oh, my stupid light. You can really tell I have a ring light, huh? <laughs> okay, so anyways, this is it. And the artwork, uh, amazing. Man, you can hardly see it. Oh, my goodness. Amazing artwork. Go, if you're curious about it, go online and um, look up Josephine Wall. Um, or Angela Hatfield and um, Angela Hatfield who is the first name on the box she travels all over the world she teaches different like spiritual type workshops and uh, she's a psychic medium she's an intuitive reader and healer she's a Reiki master and she is a certified raindrop practitioner which to be honest I'm not exactly sure what that means but in her biography, it does mention that she's a certified raindrop practitioner. So that is something that I will definitely be looking into because I'm super curious about what that means. So that's that's um, what I know about um, about Angela Angela Hartfield and the she she did the oh okay so she worked for a company called 
pool pottery, pool pottery, um, where she painted a famous collectible, um, it's called Delphis, Delphis Ware, D-E-L-P-H-I-S Ware, um, collectibles. I don't know, Delphis collectibles. So it must be like a, a pattern or a design that she did on some pottery that um, was maybe a, in a, a line of collections. I don't know. I, I collected a whole bunch of fairies and each, each one, is, even though each one is different, they're all in the same collection. So something probably similar to that. Um, and she has a fantasy artwork. And um, so I'm, I'm sure that um, it was all very fantasy. Um, she lives in a, in a wisteria cottage in England. And then Josephine Wall, who is the artist on these cards, she is amazing. She's one of my very most favorite artists. Um, I love her work. I always have. Ever since I was young, I was, I've been drawn to her artwork. Um, it, Josephine Wall is absolutely so incredibly talented. She started drawing fantasy type artwork, intricate and unusual and strange and extraordinary fantasy artwork she started drawing at the age of three years old three years old and I guess her dad was a, a watercolor painter um I don't know if he was real famous or not I could never find figure out his name I went looking for it and I never did actually find it it's probably out there but I didn't find it he did watercolor and uh, that's kind of where she got her inspiration from. Um, and, you know, um, in interviews and stuff, she says that she's inspired by nature. Um, a lot of her stuff is inspired by nature and is psychically inspired as well. Um, she is, she also is a sculptor. Um, she also worked at the, that pool pottery place. I, I believe that's where these two met. Um, and she, um, she, the thing that stands out most about her that I remember the most about her and her, in her little interview or whatever she did, I saw a little clip of it on YouTube. Um, the thing that stands out to me most is that she said that she is, and she's always been this way, like somebody who like decorates, adorns, um, everything, like everything her clothes her shoes her all of her belongings are uh, designed by adorned and designed by her and that is to me that is so funny because like oh I would love to walk into her house and see what it looks like I can't even imagine I can't even imagine walking into her house and and being like seeing the artwork that she does I can't even begin to imagine I'll insert a few um, pictures of her artwork, a few little clips of some of, some of my favorite ones um, in the video. So next I've got, I'm gonna take this stuff out here. Okay. I got a couple of little crystals. All right. So I got me a, where'd that little card go? Okay, this came with a card. I have, I've never seen this one before. So obviously if I don't have it, I have to have it. So <laughs> I got me one of these. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a red with like a tan blotch on one side but it's actually a, like almost like a blood red and with that in it but I like the triangle shape of it anyways I thought it was pretty cool that's called mukate mukate is a nurturing stone that supports and sustains during times of stress it brings peace and a feeling of wholeness 
Luke 8 helps us with decision making, especially when we're having a difficult time. It encourages versatility and helps us to accept change. So I thought that was pretty cool. Luke 8. I love her little cards that she makes for her crystals and they say it says hippie witch down at the bottom. That's adorable. All right. And then I went ahead and bought myself a little chunk of jade. Just a little, it's a very light, I don't even know. Oh man. I don't know if the ring light's changing it to where you can't tell what color it is, but it's green. It's green. And green is for the heart chakra. Um, so, um, I, I had given, I had a piece of jade and I'd given it away to somebody who really needed it. Um, jade has the energy of the earth, um, nature. Um, it helps with, with like a, get with the wholesome nurturing energy. Um, it draws, um, it's supposed to draw abundance. Um, it is, it's supposed to help with like physical prosperity, well-being. So that's what Jade does for you. What a cute little piece of Jade. Great little stone to have in your arsenal. All right. I've been looking for a new palm stone for when I'm doing, um, when I'm channeling. Um, I have a couple, but it's always good to have extras in your arsenal. So, can you, I like to get the size where you can, um, she has everything wrapped up so cute in the paper. I like to get the size where you can fit more than one in your hand easily and still be able to put your fingers over them so that's what i did here um this is a brecciated brecciated i i i've always called it brecciated but the girl at the store called it brecciated so i don't know anyways it's jasper And it's very pretty. I love it. It's got some awesome energy. Um, so this, this is, okay, Jasper, it invigorates your, um, your mind and your body and your spirit. Um, it brings a sense of, uh, like, re renewal, focus, determination, um, awareness of your surroundings, um, how to control your emotions, um, and how to, like, for people who are, like, quick, quick to anger, how to, um, kind of have some control back on that, um, it, it, it just makes you very aware of yourself, and in every aspect, um, it helps with sexual energy, um, it's just, associated with lucid dreaming also it helps soothe the nerves so this is a good one for to, to put in your bed um i got this awesome pillowcase from um goddess provisions this new subscription i get go watch my unboxing video about it um where it's a vegan silk crystal or silk pillowcase and on the inside of it is a little tiny pouch that's attached to the inside to put your crystals in. So this is a perfect one for putting in there because it's very smooth and so there's no jagged edges so that if I do actually lay on it, it's not going to hurt me. I kind of learned the hard way about picking and choosing the right ones to put in there. So uh, the other one I like to put in there is this one, which is a, an agate. Um, this one's also a palm stone that I use, but it, it's very smooth and <laughs> not painful to lay my face down on. So anyways, so yeah, so I got this one, this brecciated, brecciated tomato, tomato, Jasper. So I, I love that one.
Okay. This one is my favorite. My favorite. Look at this paper. It's got like glitter in it. Not on it. In it. Part of it. It's kind of cool. Oops. I dropped it. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. So this is blue apatite. Blue apatite. And I hope that you can see it through the glare of my... It's so pretty. This is also a palm stone. But it's a bigger one, so this one will definitely stay and, you know, fill up one whole hand. This I got specifically for my readings and my channelings. Um, this one is uh, uh, really, it helps a lot with clarity um, and um, giving me the ability to be real clear and precise and interpret um interpret things the way that spirit is intending me to um this is uh, so with blue apatite that this kind of this stone helps with motivation ambition self-confidence self-acceptance um it it's a it helps with psychic perception like i was saying um and it kind of helps like with the third eye to, it helps accessing the paranormal abilities um, it also promotes creativity, um, it enables people to get in touch with their, um, different parts of their spirit that they're not accessing, um, like they should be, and helps to better assess, so, assess those issues and needs that, uh, say you might have for, um, whatever reason there is, um, that you're not wanting to deal with, this is something that's that will help you with that. So anyways, this one's just absolutely beautiful and it even has a little bit of quartz right here. This is what I love about my crystals when I get them is when they have other minerals in with them. And this one does, it's got a little quartz here on this corner. And then the rest is the beautiful blue apatite. One of my babies. I have this one as well. This one's a bright blue. Throat chakra. All right. I think that's it. I, that's it. Oh, one more thing. A sticker a sticker I had to have because it describes me very much so it says are you ready it says I have a crystal for that <laughs> and I bet you I do <laughs> yeah I had to grab that little cute sticker you guys know how much I love my stickers I've got a huge collection of them now I put them inside of a binder, um, but a lot of times I give them away. So I right now I have a pretty good collection of them. But anyways, well, I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, enjoyed the time they spent with their families and their friends. Um, we had a beautiful Thanksgiving. Um, we had a like a Friendsgiving Thanksgiving this year. It was a huge amount of people. We had a, a, like 39, I think, or 38 is how many that were um, accounted for. And and we had, so of course, you know, we are all musicians. And so we had some live music going on, jamming going on. After what was an amazing dinner that was half vegan, half regular traditional. So, um, which was just completely awesome and I was able to bring some really yummy vegan dishes that people asked me for the recipe for so they must have liked it so uh, which is awesome um, and I'm still using the Thrive um, doing great on it I haven't checked in the last couple of days to see if I've lost any more weight but I do have 
tons of energy getting so much done i don't know if you can see but back here behind me those boxes are full of my jewelry that i've been making so um anyways i guess that's it i'm gonna call it a night and sending love and light and blessings out to all of you and namaste oh by the way one thing that i always forget to do every single video this is going to be the first time i remember please press the like on my video press the like please um i'm not going to ask you to share it or or that at this point um my video will get to the places it's supposed to get to but if you watch my video please press the like on it um that helps and lets me know that you guys are out there supporting me and that makes my heart feel good so namaste